guys I wanted to show you the seeds that we bought the other day um every February every February our local Bordines has half off um, all their seeds so um, we always try to get over there sometime in February and get um, a majority of the things that we grow we will supplement um, the things that we start in the house with potted plants from Wojo's um, they have a great deal on all their vegetables and herbs and um, they have a great variety, a lot of heirlooms um, and different stuff. It's fun. So even though it looks like this outside, um, it's fun to dream about the garden. I'm going to show you over the next um, couple days or couple videos how I organize our seeds so I know what to buy and um, things like that. So, um, oh, I want to show you this too. So in addition to their seeds being half off, they also have a deal going on until February um, where you can get these giant bags of potting soil. Um, they're really great soil mixes. Um, they have a lot of peat and vermiculite in them. Um, they're nice. It's a nice airy soil. We always have a great um, result with starting seeds, even if they're little with this soil. Um, and you get a bag of three cubic feet and then you get the second bag 60% um, off. And I actually have it. The, we left the bags in the car overnight and they froze, so I have them over the heat um, thawing out. But um, most of the seeds that we got are from um, Botanical Interests. They are one of my favorite seed companies. We always have great um, growing success with them. The um, plants sprout. And I the thing I love about them is they have like really different stuff. They have um, like artichokes and... Uh, things like that like things that are hard to find so um here's our cucumbers we grew these last year and we had great success with them we got a lemon variety a pickle variety and the straight eights and what was nice about this combination was that um they tend to flower at different times so there wasn't a whole lot of cross-pollination so like the I think the pickles came first and they kind of like did their thing completely and then the straight eights and then the lemon cucumbers were last. And here's our selection of melons. Um, we've grown Moon and Stars watermelon for quite a few years now. I really like the variety. I think it's pretty. Um, it gets these great big yellow spots all over it and even the the foliage has yellow spots. Um, these two uh, cantaloupe and honeydew are new varieties for us so I'll let you guys know how those do. Um, these are a couple squash. I have so many squash seeds and um, I'm just going to try and sprout a bunch of stuff that I already have but we did add this. Um, we grew Waltham butternut squash last year and it was excellent. Um, and then this uh, delicate de, Delicata honey bow is a new variety for us so we're going to give that a try. And then I got a purple broccoli and the way it looks, it doesn't look like it's a big, like, crowning head type broccoli. It looks more of like a um, broccoli rob. And we've grown these Brussels sprouts for quite a few years, too, and they do great. And then these are kind of our rooted vegetables. Um, I got this cool gourmet beet blend. We've grown um, these striped beets before, but it was just the red variety. So I'm excited to see, like, what the yellow and... Looks like there's kind of like a magenta and orangey color. And then um, this is a new radish blend for us. I'm excited. It's called Easter Egg Blend. And there's pink and purple and I don't know. It just looks really good. And then I got a red carrot variety, which is supposed to be super healthy. And then I always get like a real sweet carrot because um, I like my carrots sweet. And then I supplemented our already pretty abundant herbal stash. Um, I just love herbs and they're so expensive to buy at the grocery store so I tend to overdo it with growing stuff but um, I got a fennel. Um, Zach loves fennel so I always have to grow lots of fennel so I can roast it with sweet potatoes and um, root vegetables. And, and we got rosemary. We love to put rosemary in lots of food. Um, much got lemon balm less for because we use it but more because it's supposed to be really good for our bees and um, I got sweet Italian basil we eat so much basil it's probably one of our favorite herbs and this is a new um, onion for us 
It's called Boratana. I hope I'm saying that right. But it's sort of a flat disc shaped um, onion. I feel like I've seen these at the grocery store like in kind of fancy markets and stuff so I'm excited to grow these. And then I got a, a shallot because I love cooking with shallots but I never think to grow them so I was I made sure that I got a pack of those. And I also got um, quite a big selection of flowers um, which is kind of unlike me. Um, I tend to be really practical when um, planning out our garden and I try to use uh, the beds for, you know, vegetables and the most that we can harvest. But um, last year I got a pack of like a butterfly hummingbird blend by uh, Renee's Garden and it was just so beautiful. Um, I put it near the door or the, the gate into the entrance of the garden and I was just like, oh, I need to do this again this year. So um, I love poppies, so I got a couple, um, these are perennial poppies, so I got like a big red variety, and then these are supposed to, the other one, the um, or, uh, oriental, sorry I'm trying to read through my camera lens, um, oriental poppy is like a fuchsia on an orange, so I'm really excited to see how those go. And then my mom and I love to make um, straw flower arrangements like in the fall so I got a straw flower and a globe amaranth um, to dry and to make little bouquets and maybe wreaths or something out of. And then I love hollyhocks so I'm going to start these from seed and um, hopefully those will do great. And then I got a variety like kind of like I did last year with um different types of flowers that attract butterflies and hummingbirds and bees and I put the the lemon ball back in there with that one but um I got a, a milkweed blend which I kind of want to do some in um, some research just to make sure that that's the um, the native milkweed before I go planting this we have a lot of no native milkweed growing in our yard and before I plant this I want to make sure that it's kind of safe to plant like no cross pollination or anything going on. Um, and then I got this bee balm and purple rib ribbon lavender. Last year I started a whole bed just devoted to lavender, so I'm gonna start um, these in there. Well, I'll probably start them now and then transfer them out there. And I grew nasturtium last year and it was beautiful. So we got that again this year and it was it was pretty delicious. We put the blossoms and salads and supposed to be pretty good for you. And I just thought these were adorable, these little English daisies. They look like buttons. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do some flowers this year and put some color in the garden. We got a lot of plans for the garden this year. Finishing all the raised beds and putting gravel in between the walkways. So we'll keep you posted.